Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. For those who are unaware, the TM30, this is something that was a hot topic some years ago, caused a lot of consternation in the expat community, especially. Basically, it's an address reporting device here in Thailand. Now, they've changed a number of the protocols associated with it, most notably the TM28, which was really onerous to deal with. That no longer exists. But the TM30 does. One still has to notify immigration of one's address in Thailand, and this has to be done fairly quickly after arriving in Thailand, especially if the homeowner where one is staying does not report it. This got me, uh, the reason I got to think of making this video is I was reading a recent article in the Patia Mail, that's patiamail.com. Article is titled, All Immigration Offices Closed on Monday, December 12th. Yeah, good point, we're just coming off a holiday. Quoting further, in an attempt to reduce stress, Pati Immigration Office has now established in the car park a new base for newly arrived tourists to register their address on Form TM30. This is a requirement where the hotel or condo owner doesn't do so, usually online and with an immigration receipt. The paperwork required with the TM30 is a copy passport, visa and ID page, and proof of residence, which is typically a hotel receipt or condominium ownership certificate. Proof of TM30 registration is needed to apply for visa extensions or any other immigration service during the stay in Thailand. A couple of things on there regarding requirements. That may be a Patia thing. A little bit nuanced. We've seen different offices ask for different things or not ask for certain things. So you'll come in with one thing and they won't want that. They'll want something else. Again, I'm not going to get too deep into that because it's going to vary based on the office. But it is good to see Thai immigration sort of pulling out all the stops, if you will, to go ahead and facilitate smooth TM30 filing. TM30 really caused a kerfuffle in both, the, again, in the, in the expat community and probably in the tourism community as well, or the sort of long-term tourism community, the folks that come over and kind of tour around the region, and then they have to deal with various immigration things. TM30 was definitely not a favorite topic of many, many expats and tourists low these past few years. So the thing to remember, yes, you still need to file one. You need to deal with it. It's not as onerous as it once was when it comes to, oh, I spent one day in some other house. You know, it's not like that anymore. It, but that being said, if you do move, you, you got to do a new TM30. But probably, gonna, if you're really worried about TM30, honestly, probably not a bad idea to contact a legal professional, gain some insight and guidance into how best to proceed.